buying properties from mom and pop landlords can sometimes lead to bigger profits. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. Like, subscribe, share on any platform that you get your Holton Wise TV. Folks, Sasha, specifically, Sasha, out-of-state investor. You've been working with us for a while, trying to add some more properties to your portfolio. You sent me this one. I like this deal quite a bit. Now, I'm going to run through the numbers, and you might not like it because of the numbers. I would not be deterred, okay, because we got a mom-and-pop landlord, and they are not running this property appropriately, and I think that's going to save you about $20,000, okay? 20201 Crystal, Euclid, 44123, solid B-class neighborhood, just hit the market today. You ask, I deliver. You emailed me this today. I am here filming it for you, same day all right hundred thousand dollars is what they're asking for this duplex solid brick duplex okay we got two tenants in there and uh it you know it looks pretty nice pretty decent like nothing's like super amazing but you don't have to you know really worry too too much uh about the cosmetics when you already got folks living there yes you will need to do a nice turn uh when one or both of these people move out um, but we may be able to get you some more money on this thing before that happens, okay? And you're already going to be able to buy it at a discount, right? I think you could take it down for the ask price of 100 k which is, in my opinion, $20,000 less than this would normally go. Where the market's at right now, I would normally anticipate seeing a property like this go for about 120 but they are going to sell it for 100 because, in my opinion, just based on everything I'm reading, it's a mom-and-pop landlord that doesn't understand the rental game, okay? Here's why. They got two tenants in there, and they're very excited that they just signed them up to new leases, and their rent rates are 570 and 515 They're like, oh, yeah. they, they, they asked the agent. I had to get the rents from the agent. He didn't it in the MLS, and he's excited to tell me the owner just renewed the leases till March 2022. Of course he renewed the lease. Of course the tenants wanted to stay, bro. The rent's stupid cheap. Uh, 570 and 515. It's bringing in 1085, right? It should be bringing in 1500 a month. It's really these are really 750 dollars a month units, right? So the landlord probably doesn't understand uh, the market, right? And they're just giving it away, okay? So if we run it on the current numbers, right? I would anticipate you bring in home an average of four thousand ninety one dollars a year. At the purchase price of 100k, that would result in a 2% cash on cash return or a 4-1 cap. Okay, so you might be thinking like, ah man, I don't come all the way to freaking Cleveland for a 2% cash on cash return. Of course you don't come to Cleveland for a two. I get that. Who the fuck would come to Cleveland for a 2% cash on cash return, right? Hey lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. But you have to understand, this is really a $120,000 property that should have a rent roll of $1,500 a month, right? So these folks are leaving approximately $415 a month on the table, right? So that $415 a month on the table of pure cash flow is why I believe you'll be able to pick it up for $20,000 less than what it is actually worth. And as far as these tenants, yeah. You got to ride that out till we get to March 2022. And then what you do, I don't think you go right to 750 a piece, right? Because that would cause uh, an increased chance that they would move out immediately. I don't think you want to see both of them move out immediately because those units were pretty dated, right? You guys would have to spend some money to upgrade those. So what I would do is I would increase rents 25 or 50 bucks per unit, you know, go up nice and slow till we eventually get them up there right it's cash flowing a very small amount of money right now but it is still positive cash flow right so just slowly increase that right you don't want to be in such a hurry 
to remove income streams and then just ship out another ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to Cleveland so you can renovate it, right? It takes some time to recoup that investment, right? So keep these payers in there as long as you can. But of course, we gotta move up on the rent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.